God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. The children of Israel from Egypt, when they crossed, He provided them bread from heaven, the food of the angels to eat in the form of manna. He never <clears throat> abandoned His people nor punish his people that they all deserve. As we all know that the children of Israel tempted God by saying, he performed great miracles. He divided the sea and he hardened the heart of Pharaoh and sent forth seven plagues. But the question is, can he spread table on this desert for the children of Abraham to eat? Then the Lord, though he was insulted because of the lack of belief or unbelief of the children of Jacob, but still he provided them food to eat and sent down manna and quail in the, uh, in the evening. So they eat both bread and meat. And in our gospel, <clears throat> Jesus was preaching to the people in the shore of Galilee. And he was telling about this parable that the sower of the seed sowed to four different kinds of soil. One of the soil is in the pathway, wherein the pathway is so hard and the seed cannot take its root. And the birds of the air came and ate that seed, and it was not able to take root. Some fell on the stony, some fell on the bushy, and the, so and the seed was not able to take root because it was covered with all these uh, bushes and the, on the stony ground wherein the soil or the seed was not able to take root because the, wheat, the heat of the sun parsed that, uh, that seed. This represents the three types of hearts wherein the word of God is being sown. Though it was, uh, there are some hearts that it's obvious that it, it begins to grow, but the cares of this world the worries of this world covers and took that a little plant and was not able to become to fully grown and bear fruit. But the last soil that Christ mentioned was a fertile ground where in fact the fell, the seed was just fell on it and it didn't even uh, covered with that soil. But because the heart is so fertile, the soil soak on that seed and that seed begin to grow and it becomes a plant and it becomes a tree and it, beca it bears fruit and the birds in the air came to make its nest. May soon nang hinaot kita ng ang atong kasing-kasing may sama ni Ana. Dili kita may sama sa mga katawhan sa Israel nga mga gahi kayo ang ilang ulo ug tiga ang ilang kasing-kasing sama sa ilang paraon kaniadto hinaot ang katawhan sa Israel dili kita mapareya kanila tungod kay tinuod nga naala sila sa land of promise but the mentality of Egypt and the heart of the Egyptians their ways their way of thinking ang ilang pagkinabuhi nagpabilin lang gihapon nga sama sa Ehipto that is why God did not bring them to the land of promise none of them was able to enter into the land wherein milk and honey is flowing but only Joshua and Caleb and their descendants but those first descendants who came out and stepped out from Egypt was not able that even Moses the leader of the Exodus, he was just able to see from a distance the land of Canaan, but he was not even able to enter. Hinaot nga ang atong kasing-kasing kung kaniad to sa una batoon, 
kung kaniad to sa una bugangon kung kaniad to sa una sama sa daprin sa dalan nga gahi ug bantok atong pangayoon sa Ginoo Lord create in us a clean hearts O God a renew a right spirit within me take me not away O Lord thy holy spirit from thy from my presence but renew the ho- renew uh, me with the power of the Holy Spirit. Renew my heart each and every day. Let us allow the Holy Spirit to renew our hearts. Nga dili unta pagtigahon sa ato patigahon ng atong kasing-kasing sama nga sa katawahan kani adto apan atong tugutan ang balaang espiritu ang yang pulong for the word of God is two-edged sword. Nga bisan unsa katigang atong kasing-kasing Bisan ang atong kasing-kasing unsa kagahi, God and the Holy Spirit can turn it into a heart of flesh. Wherein the word of God, that two-edged sword can penetrate, that even to the very marrow of our bones, where bones and flesh meets together, it can penetrate. And, kana nga pulong sa ginoo, makaingon lang ta, nga dilitiga ang atong kasing-kasing kung atong tumanon, kung unsa ang atong nadungog sa iglesia, kung unsa ang gisulti sa iyang pulong. Apan, bisan pag nangungunta, nituman nung ko, Pader. Uy, nituman lagi ka, pero kutubra ka sa pagpaminaw. Wala yun na to gikinabuhi ang iyang pulong. Nan, wala pag ito nakatuman. That is why, let us ask the Holy Spirit to renew our hearts each and every day. That the Holy Spirit, dili siya mubuwag ka na to, kundili iya kitang tabangan because the offering or the heart that God wants the heart or the offering that God do not refuse is a broken spirit and a contrite heart nga para dia sa Ginoo please stand